Catch more carp with these seven tips. Tip number one, find the best location. Carp prefer specific environments and knowing where to find them is half the battle. Start by scouting areas where carp are known to frequent. Carp tend to stay in murky, warm waters. Look for calm, shallow waters with plenty of vegetation. These areas provide the perfect cover for carp to feed on the bugs and other small aquatic bait. Observe the water for any signs of movement like ripples, bubbles, or even the occasional fin breaking the surface. These subtle hints can lead you to a school of carp. Remember, carp are sensitive to disturbances. Approach your chosen spot cautiously, minimizing noise and sudden movements. The last thing you want is to scare away the fish before you even cast a line. Tip 2. Bait Selection Choosing the right bait is crucial for enticing a carp to bite. The selection process can be both an art and a science, requiring knowledge of the fish's habits and preferences. These fish are opportunistic feeders, and their diet varies depending on the environment and time of year. In spring, they might prefer protein-rich baits, while in summer, they could be more enticed by plant-based options. However, some tried-and-true baits have proven effective time and again. Sweet corn is a classic carp bait. Its bright color and sweet aroma are irresistible to these fish. The visual appeal of the corn can attract carp from a distance, making it a reliable choice for many anglers. Boilies, another popular choice, are dough-like balls made from a variety of ingredients including fish meal, birdseed, and attractors. These ingredients can be customized to suit the specific preferences of the carp in your fishing area. Experiment with different flavors and colors to see what works best in your local waters. Bread is another readily available bait that carp find difficult to resist. Its soft texture and neutral flavor make it a versatile option that can be used in various fishing conditions. Use a small piece of white bread, molded around your hook, for a simple yet effective bait presentation. The bread can be easily shaped to cover the hook, making it less visible to the fish. Tip number three, choosing the right rod and reel setup. Carp are powerful fish, capable of putting up a strong fight. When you hook a carp, be prepared for a fight that will test your skills and your equipment. Using the right rod and reel setup is essential for landing these freshwater giants. The right gear can make the difference between a successful catch and a missed opportunity. Opt for a medium to heavy rod with a strong reel to handle the size and strength of carp. A medium to heavy rod provides the necessary backbone to control and guide the fish, while a strong reel ensures you have the power to reel it in without the risk of your equipment failing. A rod with a moderate action will provide a good balance of casting distance and fish fighting power. Moderate action rods bend in the middle, offering flexibility and strength, which is crucial when you need to cast your bait far and still have the power to fight a strong fish. Your reel should be spooled with a strong monofilament or braided line with a breaking strain of at least 10 pounds. Monofilament lines are known for their stretch and shock absorption, while braided lines offer superior strength and sensitivity. This will ensure you have enough strength to handle even the largest carp. A line with a breaking strain of at least 10 pounds gives you the confidence to tackle these formidable fish. When it comes to hooks, choose a size that matches the size of your bait. A size 6 or 8 hook is a good starting point for most carp fishing situations. These sizes are versatile and can accommodate a variety of baits, from corn and boilies to worms and pellets. Use a strong hook that can withstand the carp's powerful jaws. Carp have tough mouths, and a weak hook can easily bend or break under the tension of the line. Tip 4. Chum the water. Chumming the water with bait is a technique used to attract carp to your fishing spot and increase your chances of a catch. This method involves scattering bait, known as chum, into the water to create an enticing environment for the fish. By introducing a steady stream of food into the water, you can create a feeding frenzy that will draw carp in from afar. The sight and smell of the chum will trigger the carp's natural feeding instincts, causing them to gather in large numbers. One popular option is to use a mixture of sweet corn, breadcrumbs, and fish meal. This combination is not only cost-effective but also highly effective in attracting carp. The sweet corn provides a visual attractant, the breadcrumbs create a cloud in the water, and the fish meal adds a strong scent that carp find irresistible. This combination creates a potent aroma that carp find irresistible. As the carp begin to feed, they release pheromones that attract even more fish, creating a self-sustaining feeding frenzy. Tip number 5. Use a rod holder. Carp fishing often involves long weights for a bite. Using a rod holder can make these weights more comfortable and increase your chances of success. 
A rod holder securely holds your rod in place, ensuring that the bait stays completely still and seems as natural as possible. This is especially useful when fishing with multiple rods as it allows you to cover more water and increase your chances of a bite. When choosing a rod holder, look for one that is sturdy, stable, and easy to adjust. You want a rod holder that will keep your rod secure, even in windy conditions. Tip 6. Stay away from shiny gear. Carp are incredibly wary creatures, easily spooked by anything that appears out of place. To avoid detection and increase your chances of a successful hookup, it's crucial to minimize your visibility and use tackle that blends seamlessly with the underwater environment. Avoid shiny hooks and sinkers, as their unnatural glint can send carp fleeing for cover. Opt for dull or camouflaged colored hooks and sinkers that blend in with the lake bed or river bottom. These subtle adjustments can make a world of difference when it comes to fooling wary carp. Similarly, choose fishing line that matches the color of the water you're fishing in. Clear or light-colored lines are less visible in clear water, while darker lines are more suitable for murky or stained water. Tip number 7. Fish during the prime feeding times. Just like other fish, carp tend to have windows of feeding hours. Understanding their daily patterns is key to maximizing your chances of a successful catch. Early morning and late evening are the best times to fish for carp, as they are more active during these periods. As the sun rises and sets, carp venture into shallower waters to feed, making them more susceptible to your bait. During these low-light conditions they feel less exposed and are more likely to feed aggressively. Avoid fishing during the heat of the day, they become less active and less likely to bite. Instead, focus your efforts on the cooler hours when carp are on the move and actively feeding. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.